The rate of kids in Colorado without health insurance is slowly increasing. Research from the Colorado Health Institute says it's not happening everywhere. It's one specific demographic. Here's Victoria De Leon. Hilda Gonzalez has a front row seat to the barriers some Hispanic and Latino Coloradans face. She works for Servicios de la Raza and helps families apply for health insurance. One of the main and strong barriers to apply for health insurance is for our documented um, population, not for the legal status. The Center for Children and Families at Georgetown University released a study earlier this month. Their research showed an increase of more than 354,000 uninsured Latino children in the United States between 2016 and 2019. And we found something really troubling in 2019. Joe Hannell and his team at the Colorado Health Institute found similar disparities in our state, a nearly 6% increase in uninsured Latino children from 2017 to 2019. That extrapolates to from 9,000 kids to 27,000. So I mean, it's like it tripled. Joe and Hilda believe those numbers are reflective of the public health charge policy applied to Medicaid and health benefits under the Trump administration, which meant people who were trying to become U.S. residents or citizens could have their applications denied if they were likely to use Medicaid. I remember a family that came um, and they wanted to get enrolled in uh, Connect for Health Colorado. Their kids were eligible for CHP Plus and they still didn't want them to get CHP Plus, so not even like fill out the application. In March 2021, the Department of Homeland Security announced the government will no longer defend the 2019 public charge rule. Hilda says she started to receive more calls about enrolling for health coverage after the American Rescue Plan went into effect this year. But reversing the fear in these communities and getting those uninsured numbers down will likely take time. When a policy creates fear in a community, it's really hard to reverse. For next, I'm Victoria De Leon. Colorado Health Institute's now looking at the uninsured rates for kids in 2020, and they expect to have those numbers ready for the public this fall.